Happy New Year, fuckers. Happy New Year. A toast to 2019 from Archie Luxury. Coming from my suite at Crown Casino. Crown Casino. May your wristwatch fantasies come true. Winner, winner, chicken dinner in 2019. Hey guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury Channel. Today guys, I want to talk about one of the most exclusive clubs at Crown Casino. It's the, it's the Mahogany Club. Now, you've got to really look out for it. Basically, it's on the first floor. So, the, the, the average punter is on the ground floor. You go up to the first floor. And uh, then you have the mahogany room. And uh, from the uh, the mahogany club, this video is shot. You can actually see the foyer to the hotel. So you've got to be a bit sneaky. You've kind of just uh, come in. You've got to have a guest who has membership to it. Um, now, I was very fortunate. I had a few people who uh, had... Uh, had this exclusive membership who uh, wanted to show me around. Cameras inside is a strict no-no. I'm not allowed to film any of the gaming area and at any time you can be sure Big Brother, those little things on the dome, things on the roof there are watching what you are doing. They did have a, uh, a bit of a wrist, wrist, wristwatch display Nothing I would honestly say was uh, terribly great. Roger Dubois, well, fuck. If you're gonna, I, you're better off to stick with Rolex, Rolex or Patek, or I don't know why you'd really um, do that. IWC had a bit of a display there. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Uh, yeah, it was it was a nice display. Um, this was all stock from Kennedy's. Yes, quite quite nice. But uh, do winners buy IWCs? I thought IWCs a bit of a losing streak. Uh, once you do get through, just I've filmed this very very secretly. I could be thrown out for doing this. Uh, absolutely, they've got some lovely display cabinets. You look down on the hoi polloi. This is the strange thing. When you're in the mahogany room, everything, you can see everyone else, but they don't know who or how exclusive you are. Um, how do you become a member of the mahogany club? Well, it's basically uh, a better class of loser. You, you need to be a, a gambler. How would you put it? Probably problematic gambler, sort of corporate, corporate type gambler, and uh, you need to spend a fortune. You have access to a wonderful deck, a wonderful deck area, which is right next to the flamethrowers which go off. And this is one of the nicest places to sit and enjoy a complimentary drink. That's right. Drinks are free in the mahogany room because you are a winner, winner. So, if you ever wondered, where is the mahogany room? Well, next time you're out the front of the casino, 
you will see um, these these gas fountains, which um, which explode every every hour. This is where the mahogany room is. It is the absolute best vantage point of the casino. This is where you want to park yourself uh, if you're bringing guests. Uh, you want to show them a uh, what Melbourne Crown Casino has to offer. Uh, it's it's a pretty pretty amazing sort of show, and uh, it's something that uh, yeah, uh, I feel sorry for the poor seagulls who are flying above the heat. Um, coming off this must be horrendous, absolutely horrendous. But. Um, Yep, I suppose that is that is that is how it goes there. On the hour, every hour. And that's the whole thing. It's uh it's one of the showmanship of Crown. The mahogany room itself, there's nothing really that <coughs> special. It's just you're with a better class of loser. And uh the whole gambling thing, I must confess, I don't have enough money to um to throw away at a roulette or a blackjack table. I'm very careful with my moolah, but uh, people seem to hold the mahogany club, sorry, the mahogany room, in some very, very high esteem sense. And it's, yes, I agree, we don't have the tradies that you have on the general floor. You don't have that freak who's trying to test out math probability at the uh, the the uh, the five dollar roulette table, um, you, you don't have those sort of creatures of <clears throat> the night, if you know what I mean. But the mahogany room, it's it's just a uh, a better class of punter, a better class of loser to be surrounded with. You have some of the best vantage points of the casino. It's done ever so discreetly which uh people will often ask where are these exclusive rooms and uh this is the answer there is also a mahogany room restaurant which i did have the privilege of dining at and uh i gotta be completely frank and honest with you the food is pretty well the same as anywhere else at crown it's pretty well the same um, I had the Singapore noodles, which was $27. A friend of mine had the steak sandwich, uh, which was, yeah, it was nicely done, but absolutely um, no bargain. And the other friends had the, the rice. Um, it was nice. It was it was scrumptious. It was rather small serve, but um, was it worth getting all excited about? I suppose it's not so much who they let in. It's who they let out, who they don't let in. So um, the mahogany club, is it the mahogany room, I should say? Well, it's really just another level in this evil crown empire of casinos and gambling. It's basically a better class of loser. Um... What did I think of the mahogany room itself there? I thought it was quite nice. Um, I didn't think it was that amazing, to be frank with you. Yes, I enjoyed there was uh, a better class of prostitute in this establishment. There was a better class of punter, better class of gambler. But is it so wonderful? Is it so fantastic? Not really. See, when commercial enterprises try to palm off exclusivity, it really doesn't often work out that way. It doesn't actually... It's a bit like American Express and their black card, their centurion card. See, as a commercial enterprise, Crown is under the same pressure to get more punters in and make more profits. But the more people they allowed in, they allow in, the less exclusive this room or club or membership tier becomes. 
So you find these organizations constantly creating new tiers of prestige. And to be quite frank and honest with you, I don't think there is anything exclusive about losing a lot of money to Crown Casino and the Packers. I honestly, um, I think if I was dating a lady who had a a mahogany club membership, I think that would be cause for concern. It would ring a few bells, so to speak, to warn you to uh, be careful with this bitch because she's got expensive, expensive habits. And uh, that's the whole thing with these exclusive tiers run by commercial organization. At the end of the day, they only care about profit. Profit is the only thing these organizations care about. They couldn't give a shit about you. About you. They don't give a shit about you. They want to make maximum pop profit for shareholders and uh, I gotta be completely honest with you yes they have a beautiful view a beautiful terrace and beautiful uh, logos and secret entrance ways but at the end of the day this is a money-making machine to take as much money from you as possible the best advice I can give you is not to be sucked in by Crown's Casino's bullshit status in these different tiers. If you are a member of the Mahogany Room, it means you have a serious gambling problem. A serious gambling problem that really needs to be addressed. Yes, it was nice to come in. It was nice to have complimentary drinks. But at the end of the day, Let's call a spade a spade. If you've got a mahogany room membership card, you are a problem gambler. If you have staff who are members of this room, who knows where they're getting the money from? I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you guys think of that. Nice one, Arch. Great video. Love it, boy.
was nothing. <laughs> So this is the congratulations to everybody.